In this video, I am going to explain how to do a macro. A macro is a recording of a particular function that you can do and link to a button or a shortcut so that you can repeatedly invoke it whenever you are using it. There are two ways how to do a macro, either by recording it or otherwise by coding it. In this video, I am going to show you how to record a macro. So let's say, for example, that we want to add a button that when we click on it, it will generate a letterhead for a particular company. To do this, we have to go on the developer tab and click on record macro. I'm going to give a name to this macro, for example, um, ABC limited letterhead. Here we can write a description. And we can choose whether we want to assign it to a button or to a keyboard. I'm going to assign it to a button. The button is this one. And to make the button displayable on the screen or on the, on the toolbar, we have to select it and click on Add. Here, when I click on OK, this button will be added to the Quick Access toolbar, which is this one. Now, if you move the mouse pointer to the white screen of the to the white area of the screen, you will notice that there is a cassette tape with the pointer with the mouse pointer. That means that Word is currently in record mode. So whatever we are doing with Word is being recorded. Note that when recording, we should avoid using the mouse to highlight and select text. We have to use the mouse only to choose the appropriate button or function from the toolbar. So now I am going to write the letterhead, for example, ABC Limited, forty-five, three, Santana, Floriano, FRN one two three four. And I'm going to insert the date. And I'm going to write the year. And that's it. I want that the rest um, then will be written by the user. Before I stop the recording, I'm going to do some formatting. First of all, I'm going to fix the line spacing, but please know that I am going to highlight the line spacing, I, I mean I'm going to highlight the text using the keyboard and not the mouse. Once the text is highlighted, I'm going to click on home and fix the line spacing from here. I am going to highlight these again and make them Write a line, and we are done. I am going back to the developer tab and click on stop recording. And that's it. Our macro recording is done. Now I can close Word. I am not going to save it. If I open a new copy of Word, I have this button here. When I click on it, as you can see, the letterhead came automatically.